Hello everyone, how you doing? I'm Camo and I'm adjusting! Welcome to a game called White Lab. Now, this game caught my attention as a tower defense, but it held my attention because it is a physics-based um, tower defense. Now that sound, might sound kind of stupid considering that like games have physics in them already, but you are about to see exactly what I mean. I cannot move. There we go. So you move these towers and you piece them all together and when things run into your tower they actually like push them around unless you attach them to each other which gives them more center of mass or well, not center of mass which gives them more mass which makes them harder to push around because they're linked and here's the other really cool thing so notice how that's their range from there if you move it down their range goes lower if you move it up his range goes higher and then I can attach him to the front and it is such a unique idea. It's like such a unique, you know, see how like the thing is shuffling around because it's got the force of this guy shooting on the front of it. I don't know if maybe like if you put a, a gun that's too strong, you might knock your tower over. That would be crazy. But this is such a cool and unique idea. And I've played a few levels. This is the demo. Oh, and you can convert them too. Now, I don't know what the chances of them being converted are. I don't know if it's like a guaranteed thing. If you, see, like, notice how it's getting knocked around? See, now I can put this up here, and I can give him a larger range. It's so cool, and you can choose to put them in the way, or you can choose to put them off on the side. You know, if you don't want to lose them because they have a chance of running into them and destroying them, you don't have to put them in the way. It's such a unique concept, and it's a concept... It, there might be other games that have done it. This is the first game that I've ran into, or the first tower defense that I've ran into, where physics were so prevalent that they governed how you run things. Now, like, check this out. If I leave this little guy right here, if I leave him on the ground, he, he's not gonna... He, I think he shoots, but he'll, like, knock himself around. I want to double check, and I want to I make sure to see if that's... Oh, he doesn't do nothing. He's like, Attach me to a tower, you loser! <laughs> So now they've got good range. These guys have really high range. Now I can put these in front so that they got to go through that first. What? See, now now they've got a little bit of a wall to go through. Now the problem is because it is physics based, if they run it, if my bullets hit that wall first, well we got a problem. <laughs> See, now I got myself I just converted myself another tower. Uh or not tower, I converted myself another gun so I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here because it looks like because everywhere else you actually have to you actually have to pay attention to where you're putting your towers if you put your tower somewhere oh uh, you know what I could do I just put these off on the side uh, they don't have to be in the way if you put your tower somewhere that something else is gonna hit it from behind you can't do it well you can but it wouldn't be a good idea I'm I'm scared because I keep seeing that tower sway I don't know if it's gonna get knocked over if there's like enough force on it but this is this is pretty much the idea of the game this is how most of the game goes is it, look at that oh it, it's like it's like not attached right there what <laughs> oh and some of these cubes are stronger than other cubes so you can put those down in front if you want to um, now I don't know what makes these things get converted like I don't know what determines the ones, like, I don't know what determines them getting captured or not. So now, once you've won the level, your little cube thingy floats off. Now, I played before, when I played before, I kind of lost on the second level because it gets rough quick. And, like, they open that thing up and then they fall down into some kind of tube or something. I don't know where they're going, but I do know... Yeah, see, that just floats back down. Alright, so... It starts me off with a bunch of stuff here. This is such a cool concept. It's simple, like it's simple uh, commands too. You just basically um, you use your mouse wheel to uh, turn the camera. You use WASD to move around, and then everything else is just pretty much click and drag. Now this is the level I lost on. Ah, there's a hair in my face. Get my face out my face. Um. I lost on this level because I did not notice, or did I did not pay attention to the fact that there is a second path over here, but they don't start going down that path until like, huh? Woo! They don't start going down that path until like wave two. So we're good for now. Come on. 
And it's neat how the how the game slows down for a little bit, just while you're you know moving your stuff around. But it it still moves a little bit. Like I'm I'm so scared that things are gonna like blow themselves apart. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, buddy. So neat. I love this. Now, you'll notice down the bottom right-hand corner, it says the strength when you mouse over things. You can kind of see the strength they are at. Um, you want to move the higher strength. Like, let me see. I found one. Where is it? There's a, I got a, like a 3.5 somewhere around here. Oh, it's this yellow one. See, it's a 5.5, so I would obviously want to put the stronger one down in front. And what is this? Oh, see, I got a 3.8, and that one's a 2, so I want to probably move that one out. Move those in the way. Move this up and over here. Move this and up and over here. And then move these. I don't know. Move these up on top of them. Now, I noticed when I played before and they kind of ran into this wall, they just kind of powered through it. It didn't really matter that I was putting things on top of it. So that's something to bear in mind, too. If you do decide to play this game, this game is... It's unique. I can't... Like, I got my face cam, like, way over on the other side now. Um, it's so, it's such a unique concept. It's freaking camera's weirding me out. But I love this. This is so cool. Now, like I said, this is just the demo that I'm playing. Um, I don't know how many levels that goes for, but the idea of the game stays the same. So even though this might not, like, be the greatest graphics in the world, it will, it did kind of give me a portal vibe. Let me just say that. It gave me a portal vibe right off the bat. Not only in the, uh, the... Um, environment but the voices they got like that super robotic voice that we all got used to with GLaDOS and whatnot get out of here sucker and you can also in the top right corner see what their strength is too uh, uh. <laughs> all right I should probably oh shit Hachi me no I need to oh what was the zoom out command there's a zoom out command but I forgot what it was no no! No, you don't. Hey. Okay, oh, time's actually stopping for me this time. Time is stopping for me this time. Haha! <laughs> not funny. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Get cool. Get cool, cool, cool. Just trying to toss some stuff over here so that we can actually take this out. Okay, there we go. Woo! This is... It's kind of... It's kind of crazy how much you gotta, like... Pay attention to some of this stuff. It's weird... <laughs> Yeah, so you kind of like, <laughs> you see that they kind of hump the wall, like, eh, get me in, no. Oh, that's true, I could put these, I could put these down here too. <laughs> that is so cool, you guys. I freaking, I, I love this. Now, obviously, I could probably be setting this up a whole hell of a lot better, like putting them down at this corner over here, because that'll give them a chance to shoot it sooner. But I don't care. It's so cool. And you could probably... Oh, man. I could attach them to each other like the the high blocks. Like the... Um, what do you call it? Ah, quick, 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 quick. Um, I could attach these blocks to each other and kind of make like a like a legit... Like a overpass or something like that. I don't know. You could do so much with it. I love it. It's such a unique freaking concept. Uh, let me see. So yeah, for those of you who love physics-based games, this is a great tower of defense to go check out because there's so much that you can do with it. Like, you need to put something in a way, but not really. You convert pieces. You can actually think of, like, physics-based designs. It's such a cool, such a cool, 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 cool freaking concept. I freaking, I love it. And I've been trying to find a tower of defense that's more unique. Because a lot of tower defense is just like, oh, we've created more content, but, you know, it's still kind of just the same thing over and over where you're just, you know, killing a bunch of mobs and stopping them before they get to the ending. And, you know, that's all she wrote. This, like, I'm actually thinking, well, first off, I'm actually thinking, but I'm thinking about where I actually want to put things more so than ever based on physics and like putting something higher or lower you know has an impact on how it acts oh it hit it because it was freaking while it was turning that's rough <laughs> uh oh strength one okay so i won the second level 
Oh, nice. And on the background, that's how they do like their little tutorials. I noticed that on the first level as well. But yes, anyways, I was going to do my outro before, but you guys should definitely go check this game out. This was a lot of fun. I This is the demo that I'm playing, so if you're not 100% sure and you want to give it a, a try for yourself, because sometimes a game might look good, but it might feel clunky to you. If you guys want to go check this game out, there is a demo available for it. That's actually what I'm playing right now. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what is that? Speed, top ball, rotating cylinder, base cube. Whoa, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give me a, you gotta give me a, give me, give me a friggin' second. But anyways, there's like, it looks like there's even more to the physics than I originally thought. So, anyways, blah, 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 go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed having you with me. I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, y'all take care.